we have to ask you if you have any certified media credentials. You cannot have video cameras in front of a polling place. Can you identify yourself? You're giving us directives. Yeah, my name's Chad. I work for Chad, Chad Cavanis. Chad, another Chad. Do you have a Padma's card, ma'am? Ma'am. Okay. So, I got this lady ignoring us. Hey, ma'am. Hey guys, I'm from Metro Audis, AKA the Mile High Auditor, back at it again at Belmar Library for another follow-up because they didn't do a good job last time. I'm here with the, the famous uh, Amazing Audits. Also got AQI Audits with us. And of course, I'm here with the lovely Sweet Tea. Let's go check it out, guys. We got a fan here too, it was in the, the thumbnail. What's up, man? What's the channel? Uh, we'll tell you if you wanna, we'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Let's get in here first. So here we go, guys, let's see how it goes. Huh? What are you guys doing? What are we doing? Yeah. We're doing a little story on the library. Okay. I just want to be sure my kids are safe. Safe from us with cameras? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Well, what would we do that would be nefarious with a camera for your kids? <laughs> Film them without my permission? How about that? Oh, okay. You well, you know, you're in public, right, ma'am? This is something I've never understood and I'll probably never understand, but it happens on almost every audit. People who don't want to be recorded initiating a conversation with the guy holding a camera. I was about 30 feet away from this lady with my back turned when she started a conversation with me. So I turn around and walk towards her. Her children are standing next to her, so of course they're going to be in view of my camera now. Common sense just isn't too common. Yeah, can I have this? So we got a Karen already, guys. And you know for sure it's here today? Oh, I do actually okay. earlier. So we already got a, a Karen. Amazing audits came back. He wanted to do a follow-up over here, so we stopped in with him. He called me and uh, we came in. Uh, I guess he came in prior to us coming in. I had a conversation with Beth already, giving him the same unlawful directives that we can't record patrons and stuff like that so again guys um, what we do my style here is not to sit here and record patrons but what i won't have is somebody that's a public employee giving me an unlawful directive saying that i can't record a patron okay um, i have a right to record anything i can see in here limited public forum or not that doesn't matter uh, me and afa afa did all the light work for me and we got the case law and we got everything so we are absolutely allowed to record every single thing we can see in this public facility, guys. So let's go have a, a conversation with Randy. That was Ralph. That was Ralph. Remember this guy? What's up, Randy? How you doing? It's Randy, guys. Yeah. It's not Mark, I thought it was Mark, but it's not, it's Randy. So here he goes in the little office back there to hide. That's a disgrace, man. Um, and I'm slacking, guys, I've been so crazy busy, I still haven't filed a complaint on Randy for uh, telling me to get the F out of here and stuff. I've learned my lesson, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here. I think he's telling him to walk back. So. So we'll see. Uh, I still need to do that, guys. It's 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 crazy being this uh, busy. I've been so busy lately. You guys have seen all this stuff that I've been doing. So, but he's back there throwing a fit because we got cameras in here. I mean, if if he's gonna throw a fit like that, guys, then he shouldn't be working for the public. Yeah, for real. Uh, you are standing outside an election. Oh, here he is. You guys are ridiculous, guys. You guys are standing outside of a polling place. Would you like to come around here? And you cannot have video cameras. Yeah, I came over here to record this sign right here. And then oh, Donna see. came out here shaking her finger at me. Calm down, calm down, bro. Okay, my bad. Calm down. Hey, uh, you guys cannot be here. For everyone. Well, you guys need to, re you guys, that, that's for back there. So you guys need to create privacy then? It's it's within 100 feet of a polling place. If you, if you, you cannot have video cameras in front of a polling place. Can you identify yourself? You're giving us directives. Yeah, my name's Chad. I work for Chad, Chad Cavanis. Chad, another Chad. Cavanis? I work for the BSPC admin support for Jeffco Elections. 
Okay, is there a CRS? Um, I'd have to look it up, but all yeah. I know is that uh, by standing here and blocking, that is one count of voter intimidation, but also by having video cameras displayed that are capturing voters, it is another case. You guys cannot be here and with video cameras. You're fine to stand here, just not with video cameras. Hmm? I don't know about that, guys. That's there's, a good one for Yes, me. you can have, can there's in the an chat? infinite is that, number. Is there a legitimacy to that? There's an infinite number. Are you allowed to touch me and like hit my face like Donna did? Is that the proper professional way to treat a member of the public? It doesn't matter. You guys cannot be here matter. with video cameras. I don't know the chat here, guys. Um, th didn't I talk to you? Oh, yeah. so I talked to you sometime before, right? Uh, I, remember I wouldn't know. So I shouldn't you be treated familiar. with dignity and respect when I come over here? I didn't know that. I was trying to get a photo of the sign. Why is it only four feet from the door? Can you, can, you can you get a hold of AFA? I didn't know. This guy's oh, yeah. saying that it's against the law to record to because there, there's voters in here and voter intimidation. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> That's something new to me, so. Um, call Edmund first and see what they want to do about it. Are you guys calling the police on us? Who are you calling? We're calling um, the, 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 the voter admin. Oh, support okay. right now. Well, we don't want to. We don't want to 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 break the law. We're here to no, I follow the law. No, I so understand. So we just. I'm just getting some clarification. Yeah, yeah. And if that's true, then I just. I just want to say I appreciate your professionalism. Yeah. Um. Uh, because if you're going to act antagonistically, that sets off warning bells. So I just want to say I appreciate your professionalism. But if you don't mind, could we at least try not to shoot any faces of voters coming I out? I haven't moved from this perspective here. That's fine. I just mean for their own privacy. No, Could absolutely. we try not to shoot any voters coming well, here's out? Here's the thing. Until we get this sorted out. Until policy. we get this sorted out. Hello. Hello. Is Beth here today? I'm not sure, actually. Would you like me to grab her, see if she's available? Please, we'd like to talk to her. Sure, yeah. Thank you. Do you have a name you want me to give her? No. Okay. Thank you. To know, let me. Oh, you can film okay, so if they're actually voting in there. So we got, a, we got a clarification from AFA. If they're actually in the process of voting, then we can't record them. But but if they're not actually voting, then it's, it's supposed to be accountability. Then, yeah, right? it says can't film if there is active voting. Correct. And it says parentheses, you can only not film where they are actually voting. So, so looks like she's not in the building. I'm she's not in the sure. building? She left? Yeah, I'm not sure if she's in a meeting or on lunch or what, but she, no, she's not in her office. Nobody has seen okay. her for a bit. So. All right. Unfortunately, I can't help you with that. That's Did fine. you have Thank another you question? So they never told everybody we were coming back. So the deal is, um, we have to ask you if you have any certified media credentials. <laughs> certified media credentials. Hold on. Hold on a second. Do you have uh, any credentials? Well, I'm gonna let me ask you a question. Do you know who provides credentials? Uh, it has to be a certified media. Show, but I'm asking, do you know who provides uh, media credentials? I wouldn't know. I'll I only. You, I'll tell you because you don't know. The government doesn't provide them. It's the affiliates in which they work for. I understand. I understand. Look, look, look. No, hold on, hold on, wait. No, don't be. No, I don't. Let me, let me but I don't talking. make let the rules. Talking. I only enforce them. I, and right you're gonna here, ask me philosophical rules, questions. I follow laws. And that's all I'm trying to do. Treating you with respect to, I asked you for credentials. So my point is, is that. My point is that you have to offer certified media credentials. I don't know where to get these. I don't know. It's not my job. I'm trying to certify. I don't know, and it's not my job. Let me talk. If you talk over me, I'll disengage. I don't know, and it's not my job. Let me before. Don't even think about blocking me, bro. I already know what I can do and what I can't do. The guy's gonna talk over me, not let me talk. Oh, okay. Do you have a Padma's card, ma'am? Ma'am. Okay. So then I think of another one now. Or add some different numbers. Okay. Let this lady ignoring us. Hey, ma'am. So this lady will talk to us. Uh, hey, ma'am. Yeah. Is there a reason why this lady here is ignoring me? I'm trying to talk to her. Do you have a library question? Yes. What's your library well, I was asked, wondering why she's ignoring a member of the public that she works for. Oh, well, if you don't have a question, then... I do have a question. I was going to ask her, but she just completely ignored me. That's totally unprofessional. Would you like to ask me the question instead? I'm going to ask you, but I want to... Why would she do that? Why would she just ignore me like I'm that? I'm not sure. Can I get her name? Because I need to file a complaint on her. Her name is Sharon. Sharon? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got Sharon here, guys, who just wants to ignore me. Totally rude. That's unacceptable. So what was the question you had about the um, library today? Yeah, the question was... Um, if I can get Padma, does Padma have a card here that I can take with me? Maybe, let me check. Okay. That's one of those things. 
I have Lizzie's card. Lizzie is a fellow director of Padma. I'll take her card. Yeah. And then can you get? Can you just get me uh, Padma's information, maybe, and just write it sure. down on here? That'll be good. Yeah, yeah, and that is accessible on our website because Padma is one of our directors. Yeah. We know Pat, we like her, she's great. She is great. We had, she, we had one pass since we've come here, probably I've come here probably like seven times now. Okay. And the only time that you guys did a good job was when Padma was here every other time. Um, we get unlawful directives, we get cursed out by Randy. I don't know if you know, but Randy's cursed me out several times. I'm not sure who Randy is. The, the older gentleman that uh, stocks the books that works here. Right in front of our He cursed me out last time I was here. Would you like me to just write it down? If you could just write down her name, her full name and like contact information, because yeah. I'm gonna need to get a hold of her. Yeah, no worries. Here, I'll put it on at the back side so you have it separated from the piece. Thank you. She's chatting with Beth. All right, and there you go. So there's Padma's Thank number you. I and as well as Lizzie. So those are both directors. Can I get your name now? Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Right, Did guys. you have any other questions? No. Okay. All right, guys, Elizabeth does a great job. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good afternoon. You too. So Elizabeth does a great job. Uh, Sharon, you should take some lessons from Elizabeth. Um, you can't just ignore us, ma'am. We're, we actually fund this building and we pay your salary. So you can't just ignore us because we have cameras, right? We have a lawful right to do this, right? She should lose. Cats of the US, United she States she Supreme Court case law. There's no expectation of privacy in public. This is a public facility. So that means we have a lawful right to record in here. So you can't deny us service just because we have a camera, man. We're being respectful. So you need to do better, okay? That's unacceptable. Well, I'm gonna file a complaint on you. Right in front of us. Yeah. I don't pay you Brad, to just ignore me, man. Donna and Elizabeth. I, I pay you to service me. Plus one more. So if you don't want to, if you want to ignore people like that, you need to start your own business. So you can do that, and you can go out of business. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys. So I wonder if she's gonna maintain a chat about us. So again, guys, uh, it seems like chats. How many chats have we ran into, Sweet Tea and I, doing this, guys? Uh, it's like chats at libraries, apparently. I mean, it's the third chat at a library that we ran into, guys. So this is crazy. There's Chad, guys. Um, yeah, so, so far, I mean, we've done everything we can. I mean, um, within uh, grounds of, like, running the voting voter service polling yes. centers. Um, whatever the library wants to do is up to them as well. Yeah, so, yeah, you just, you guys abide by your policies, and then we'll, we'll do our thing. Too, okay, so. sweet. Yeah, yep. Yep. yeah we, we're actually not going to go over there. We actually did get clarification. Chad, again. Chad, I'm talking to you. Chad, sure. talking Regardless of what sure. any, anybody okay, might feel about here. abortion. That's not cool, man. What, what did That's you? bad okay. PR. Just ignore it. So, hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> Sorry to keep taking up your time. So, yeah, we we, we were came in here trying to be as peaceful as we can, right? <laughs> and we were over there, and uh, Chad was giving us directives. So, um, we actually, I didn't, we don't want to break the law. I told him that. So, we, we wanted to get clarification on the laws because I'd never heard of that before. So, they happen to be voting. So, we understand that we can't record them while they're actually in the process of voting. So, I was trying to explain to him that we're not going to go over there. Sure. But he was just rude to us and walked away. And he tried to come over here and tell us that we have to have press credentials. And I was trying to explain to him that well, the, the government doesn't give press credentials, right? Because uh, you can't give someone permission to do what they have a right to do. So. The, the people you, like the, the affiliates like channel because, seven they give the press credentials right so i could just write one up in a piece of like paper in a crayon and it'd be the same legitimacy so but we do appreciate your professionalism ma'am and uh i think um my friend here who uh who um beth called the police on last time uh he was here earlier and, and he uh told her that we we're coming back so um that's why she left i'm pretty sure but we just want to let you know that we're going to continue to come back here until you guys uh, get another pass and as soon as you get another pass we'll be out of here because i hate coming here i'm really sick of this place so if you want to forward to beth that we're going to come back again unannounced because we need to have a conversation with her and if she wants to do her job correctly and, and not give us unlawful directives and that'll be the end of it and we'll be out of here so okay. but we do appreciate you and my viewers do appreciate you yes. i have 680 people in my chat right now that that have been complimenting you and saying you're doing a great job so that's what we want we want people that would be respectful. Is it all right if I ask a question? Sure. Or I guess a clarification. The election officials are not library staff. So yeah. when that was happening, I don't, I couldn't have told you anything more right. than what he was telling me. I, yep. I don't know, so. We got you. I'm glad that that worked out well, yep. that's all. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Right. But can you say a favor, if you're still in here, man, for, uh, for clarifying that, dude? Uh, guys, if you, haven't already, I know most of you have, but if you haven't have subscribed to Accountability for All, make sure you go do that. Guy is amazing, super knowledgeable. A mentor of mine, guys, he's helped us with the DMA channel significantly since I've been uh, hanging out with him or talking to him. So uh, we appreciate Accountability for All. 
And uh, so go subscribe, guys, and make sure you let them know that I sent you. I'm just curious. What is it that, like, you guys are doing here? We're recording. Oh, well, yeah, but, like, what for? Like, what's the point? Because it's a public library, yeah. and we're cool. expressing our first amendment right, freedom, freedom of the press. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're no, it's fine. Okay, cool. they called the law enforcement I don't think so. What's that? Yeah, I don't know. I've seen that. Uh, were the police called, ma'am? Because we're about to head out, but if the police can't, are called, then we're going to stay. Okay. I have no idea. No. Do you know? I that? haven't been told. Uh, no, I don't believe the police have been okay. called. Okay. Great. Yeah. Um, are you uh, our supervisor here? Or? Yes. You what are? I, okay. What can I help you with? Yeah, so we can, I'm sure you probably know what we're doing, right? You, you've heard of us and everything, right? So uh, we came back just to do a follow up because <laughs> of the incident that we had with um, this gentleman right here. You guys called okay. the cops on him, right? So. I came back also to do mm -hmm. a follow-up by myself, where me and this lady did. Mm -hmm. And uh, Beth was given us unlawful directives about recording patrons. And we're not here to record patrons or antagonize anyone, mm -hmm. but if that's unlawful directive, like I can come in here and record every single patron in here if I want to. Not that I want to do that, but I will do that if I have to, to prove a point. So we are going to come back here because uh, Beth found out that we were coming. And so mm -hmm. she took off for the day. So we have to have a conversation with her. And as soon as you guys do your job correctly and don't give us unlawful directives, we will be on our way. We're actually tired. I've been here like seven times already. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, glad you came back to the library and we can kind of get things back back on back on track. Yeah, that's that what sound? we want. We okay. want to change the behavior. Uh, and but we did. I did want to let you know about Sharon. Mm -hmm. um, I walked up to her very nice, like I'm doing with you, mm -hmm. and I asked her a question and she just completely ignored me. Okay. Um, and I said, hello, can, I, can you help me, ma'am? I need help. And she just mm -hmm. pretended like I wasn't there. So that's unacceptable. You guys are members of the public. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, we're members of the public. You guys are public employees, right? Yes, so we you are. pay your salary. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so that's unacceptable. She can't do that, right? I don't pay her to do that. But um, I want to end on a good note. Yeah. Elizabeth has been fantastic, um, and she has been very helpful, very respectful. So we, we do appreciate that. We don't want to. We don't try to come in here and antagonize and make people look bad. We want to highlight good employees like Elizabeth, and then we want to also change the behavior of like Sharon over there. And then uh, one more thing, ma'am. Also, mm -hmm. Randy, last time I was here, told me to get the F out of here. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. I'm sorry that yeah. happened. Yeah, if you want to check out the video on YouTube, you can see it. Uh, he told okay. me to But get, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, but that's unacceptable, ma'am. So we're going to have um, definitely be filing complaints on Randy for cursing at us. So, but okay. I just want to let you know that Thanks. what transpired there with Randy and Sharon all right. and Elizabeth. And did you get all your questions answered for today? Yep. Well, I, you know, I, I think you should want to watch the video. You should want to know yeah, I think so about too. holding these other employees around you. It's well, just like the police. Thank if you. Thank you for that update. Well, yeah. you asked and I'm answering you. Yes, thank um, you. You know, the police, they don't hold that standard. And then we get them uh, systemic uh, corruption from the top down. And it's because people don't want to look at the bad deeds that that they've done. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah, ma'am, you started out good and now related? you started out good and now you're being rude. You, you actually just cut him off. He was in the middle yeah, of talking, well, yeah? You asked yes. him and he was trying to explain and then you got kind of irritated. Yeah, you no, started the, out great. The question was, do you have any other library but, questions but that I But you asked him, well, he was in the middle of explaining yeah. something to you Are and you, you just cut him off. your library staff fall to the ways like the police have and to be systemically corrupt? To the public i don't really feel like i need to discuss that right now but if you have a library question i can certainly help you maybe i can show you our so new display what's going i have a library question now yes absolutely what's, what's going to be done about randy telling me to get the f out of here Anything? well that really isn't that's that's not really your concern as the supervisor is there going to be any type of disciplinary action for cursing at us i'm not at liberty to share that but if you have another library question like any materials I can help you find at this time, I'd be happy to help you. Yeah, do you have a copy of the Constitution here? Well, let's see. Let's yeah, check at this check it this point. And then we'll this around the corner to this oh, right. video. Yeah. So we got this lady, guys. Hey, do we have a copy Jennifer? of the Constitution available? For I can print one. Thank or you. Would you like to see if we have a printed copy? Would you like a printed copy or find like that a, online? Okay. Like a bound copy that we may have on the shelves or would, I, would you like, like a, a print one? Like, uh, just a I'll copy on the shelves. I want to see if you guys have one on the shelves. Thank you very much. So, Jennifer, I can tell that you're irritated by us. No, so not it at seems all. Like I'm, I'm it. glad you're here. I'm glad we're having these conversations. So, okay. you're always welcome in the library. Thank you for coming. What's your position here, ma'am? I am the assistant director. And assistant director? Yeah. Okay. But 342... 342.73. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so 342.73. And I'm a little turned around, so we're going to be right over here. Yeah.
Let's go get this book, guys, or the, the book on the Constitution of the United States. Here we go. Oh, that's a huge one here. It's got the seal on it. Constitution so of the United States of America. You guys can see. Do you want to check it out today? No, ma'am. Actually, um, I just wanted you to just leave this. Sure I just want to leave that here because I was hoping that you could uh, um, ask Randy, maybe on his lunch break, to read that. Uh, therefore, he doesn't try to curse us out. We just want to engage in a lawful constitutional protected activity. Oh, I see. So, well, thanks, ma'am. Thank you for finding it. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll read it. <laughs> All right.